สวัสดีครับ I'm JP Mustansa and today is Friday September 13th. Today marks the release of the latest edition of our English language newspaper, the Phuket News, as well as our Russian language sister paper, Novosti Phuketa. Grab your copy at locations across the island. You're watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. A weather advisory has been issued for Phuket from now through to Tuesday, September 17th, warning of heavy to very heavy rain, and for people to be aware of possible flash floods. The advisory comes as rains pound the island on Friday due to the southwest monsoon prevailing over the Andaman Sea, Thailand, and the Gulf of Thailand. The Thai Meteorological Department is saying that the monsoon will strengthen throughout the weekend, bringing with it isolated, very heavy rain in parts of the Andaman coastal provinces, including Krabi, Trang, Satun, Panya, Songkla, Ranong, Chumpon, Suratani, Patalung, Nakonsi Tamarat, and Phuket provinces. Boat operators are also being advised to navigate with caution. The advisory warned people to take precautions from now through to September 17th, this Tuesday, for possible flash floods and even landslides in certain areas of the island. Given the advisory from the TMD, Governor Sopon Suwanara is instructing all district chiefs, heads of local obotos, and government agencies to be on high alert for adverse weather conditions and possible flash floods as well. Officials are on standby 24 hours a day to provide assistance. Phuket has seen very heavy rain throughout the monsoon season this year, with some of the worst flooding taking place on June 30th that inundated several areas in Talang District and Katu District as well. Then there was the fatal landslide in the Karonkata area behind the Big Buddha viewpoint that killed 13 people and affected over 200 homes in the area, all following heavy overnight rains as well. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. The Permanent Secretary of the Public Health Ministry in Thailand is sounding the alarm over the financial problems plaguing state-owned hospitals around the country, admitting that the budget shortage will lead to less investment in medical tech and salaries for medical staff. Dr. Opas Kankawinpong of the Public Health Ministry stated during an annual academic conference on public health in the Konrachasima province on Thursday, that the insufficient budget is affecting around 1,000 hospitals around the country that fall under the Public Health Ministry purview. Specifically, he confirmed that the shortage is making it challenging for state hospitals to manage costs, including paying salaries, water, electricity, medicine, and maintenance costs. One of the top public health officials in the country, Dr. Opa, stated that at least 60 billion baht in cash reserves is needed to continuously fund these hospitals comfortably for just three to six months, but admits that the ministry only has about 20 billion baht left in cash reserves. He stated, quote, The amount of money is limited, so we would like to see cooperation from all directors of state-owned hospitals in terms of improving management for the people's benefit. Next year, the ministry will adjust its administrative structure by decentralizing and empowering local offices, which we hope will improve the situation. For more, visit the link in the description. Six defendants, all of them former top police officials in the Deep South, they are now said to have arrest warrants issued against them after failing to appear for questioning on Thursday in Naratiwat Criminal Court in the South over their roles in the 2004 Takbai massacre that saw 78 people at least lose their lives. Seven defendants were due to appear in court for witness questioning and evidence examination, but none showed up according to the Bangkok Post. Those implicated in the case are accused of murder and unlawful detention for mishandling a 2004 demonstration in Takbai district in the southern province of Naratiwa. Seven protesters were killed by gunfire and 78 more were crushed or suffocated to death while piled on top of each other in army trucks. Then Prime Minister Taksin Shinawat, the father of current Prime Minister Petong Tan Shinawat, apologized for the massacre but stopped short of accepting responsibility. No one has ever been prosecuted over the deaths. The crackdown in Takbai occurred when the area was under martial law and was one of the deadliest incidents during a separatist insurgency that flared anew that same year in 2004, 
and has since killed more than 7,600 people. The lawsuit, which was launched by the families of 48 of the victims, was accepted by the court this past August after struggling for years to bring the case to court, and human rights activists are concerned that further delays could lead to the case being thrown out, as the statute of limitations in the case expires on October 25, which would mark 20 years. According to Usain Dola, a lawyer of the Muslim Attorney Center Foundation, the defendants were allowed to send their lawyers to the court to request a postponement of their appearance until the statute of limitations expires. The suspects include the former 5th Infantry Division Commander, the former Chief of Provincial Police Region 9, the former Superintendent of Dakbai Police Station, and the former Naratiwa Governor, among others. In addition, a summons has been issued for the 7th Defendant, former Army Region 4 Commander General Pisal Watanawonkiri, who is currently protected under immunity as a Putai Party List MP for the ruling coalition. For more, visit the link in the description. Officials met on Thursday to discuss preparations for hosting the upcoming International Tourism Island City Conference, which will seat representatives from countries all around the world in attendance. The Pullman Phuket Karon Beach Resort will be hosting the event with renowned experts, industry leaders, and government officials the world over, set to convene from September 24th to September 27th, later this month. The whole thing is meant for discussing pressing issues and explore solutions in island tourism and to promote sustainable development in the marine tourism industry. Representatives from Jeju in South Korea, Okinawa, Japan, Bali, Indonesia, Hainan, China, Sri Lanka, Zanzibar, Hawaii, Penang, Malaysia, Cebu, Philippines, Prince Edward Island, Canada, and other parts are expected to attend the event. On Thursday's meeting, held at Phuket Provincial Hall, and chaired by Phuket Governor Sopon Suwanarat, it covered many of the essential points required in preparation for the event later this month. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Thanks so much for catching us here today and ending your week with us at Phuket Extra, brought to you by pbcphuket.com. We'll see you again on Monday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.